Ooh, what's up guys? This is the Roferman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Kingdom of Portugal. And in this episode, we've taken Paris. Now we must defend her from the French marauding dogs. So let's intercept this army and catch them on the hops. So right now there's a lot of quite experienced units in the field. Uh, our units are depleted, so what we are going to be doing is hunkery down, uh, staying on the defensive and using our artillery advantage to level the playing field somewhat. There's a lot of enemy cavalry, there's a good amount of enemy infantry. We are just going to play this very carefully indeed, because we own Paris and that's quite a significant... Ooh. Fighting in the town is... is... is ugh, problematic. It's problematic. I want to be... I want this. Something like this. I don't want to fight in the town, because I have a firepower advantage, and you lose that in the town. So... okay. I think actually I'm probably going to want to put my guns either side. Put my light infantry up top, like so. And then I'm going to want to split my line on either side of the hill and redeploy as necessary, depending on where it looks like they're going to be sending the bulk of their forces. And when I say I'm playing this defensively, and you guys might be thinking, oh, what a pansy. Playing, he's playing very defensive. And I am. I absolutely am. I don't want to lose Paris. Paris is a is a this is a significant moment for my campaign. So my guns. So we're not dealing with a full enemy stack here. That's what I'm keen to bear in mind. We aren't dealing with a full army. We're dealing with a good army. For sure. Lots of Swiss line. Lots of Swiss grenadiers. But we intercepted them, so they are going to have to attack us. Focus on the Hussars, because when you've got small numbers, it's cavalry that causes the issues. If we can even engage them. We are within range. But it looks like it might be a... A view problem because I'm not seeing any cloudy okay it might just be we can't see them so you may have to engage I mean they're not advancing okay my weakest cavalry unit run them forward so I intercepted them, so they are the attacker. So they have more to lose than I do from standing, from staying stationary. I mean, I'm frustrated you guys can't engage those cavalry. Okay, now you are. Good. That might cause them to realize their position is not okay okay we've got some guns attacking the enemy cavalry um okay so this is a really anticlimactic way to kick this episode off but i've attacked them if they don't attack me they will lose and they will suffer attrition oh there we go excellent So I've got a militia up here. So here comes the enemy cavalry on the left. So let's bring my weakened unit of pikes across. They're not attacking, but they are advancing in a position which makes which puts them at threat. Let's get this gun team to engage the grenadiers. Because what we are going to see is their um, their infantry is going to be limited in what damage it can do to us. Very limited. So 
the fifth light horse are pushing. I don't want my cavalry to go too wide because I'm happy to use my pike and my pikemen and my infantry in defensive, in defensive, in a defensive manner. But they've lost 14 men, hopefully more with this new cannon shot. They don't miss, they fired high. Bang on. Two more cavalrymen bite the dust. My men are ready to open fire. The sooner we rout the cavalry, the sooner we gain a bit more freedom to move. You're going to be outside of canister shot. Yeah, by a country mile. Just pound them with some more cannon fire at point blank range. You men are going to engage the fourth light horse that are pushing on the left. I'm happy to accept this little bit of attrition. We should be opening fire now, because we are they are technically within range. Do a bit of damage. Miss. Ooh, good. Took one man out. That's the one cavalryman we have damaged. So these men are going to be relying more on their infantry formations for security than any supporting arms. That light horse unit is going to be routed. Let's preemptively deploy you guys into square. That seems to have provoked them more than deter them. Still engaging this cavalry unit. Okay, now they're coming in. My tie line form square, these two units hold. You men keep engaging the Swiss Grenadiers. Guerrilla mercenaries on the right, so let's bring a cavalry unit over to deal with them. Canister shot the light horse if they elect to keep pushing. Okay, don't, because you're going to kill your own men if you're not careful. Those guerrilla mercenaries are going to get pushed back. Pretty ricky tick because they've advanced within to within musket range. There they go. Burn powder, gentlemen. Actually, the gunners may focus on this fifth light horse to the rear. And they're coming back. My light infantry will help deal with the Swiss Grenadiers in the centre. Our flyby rank is going to push away the Guerrilla Mercenaries. Form a square. The enemy general is committing on the right flank. The second light horse, advancing in column. Get my pikes to counter charge. They're trying to hit. Probably the fourth in the rear, but they're going to get intercepted by the square. Skirmishers engaging the grenadiers up front. Engage in square, good sir. Push my cavalry up. Let's probably get my general's bodyguard out here too. Let's try to mass my cavalry together, really. That's one cavalry unit defeated. You men form a square. Bring my pikemen over. There you go, that pushed them back. Cavalry blast the grenadiers with square. Or with canister shot, rather. Actually, you men swing into the centre. We've got some enemy... Some good units to deal with here. You know, don't swing in. Actually, maybe keep going for the guerrilla mercenaries. 
taking my general out on the wing. So they managed to make one of my infantry units waver. But we are capable of putting out a lot more firepower than they are. Gunners engage this 26th regiment. Keep my general mobile. Although they got some grenadiers that are after them. My light infantry are annihilating troops that are pushing in the center. Human form square, push my pikes up on that flank. Okay, you're picking off skirmishes. See, my Irish brigade, they've lost five men, six men. And this unit of Swiss line is losing a little darn sight more than that. Attack the second regiment of horse. This Swiss line unit's going after my, or is interested in my cavalry. Put all my line infantry in the center, picking away these troops. Now they got past my pikemen, but my pikemen are, have made contact. So they will finish them off. like blast them at point blank range position isn't quite so good but even a semi effective performance is enough let's push back the swiss grenadiers right for my regiment of horse should be able to finish off that unit of guerrilla mercenaries. Cease fire the guns and sit now we advance. So one you charge the Swiss Grenadiers, you charge that infantry regiment. You men advance down the hill. They've hit one of my infantry units in the rear because my pikes just couldn't keep up. There we go. Now you men are going to annihilate that unit of Swiss line. One last guerrilla mercenary. Defeated. So you men run back. Ultimately, we're not necessarily bothered about who we kill. Because right now we've got a lot of enemy troops just on the field in general. Any any damage, as much damage as possible, is all we're really after. So you men can advance to form up against the square there. You men come after that infantry regiment there. The 29th. Yeah, they've broken. Excellent. So I'm going to speed up time because there's only one infantry regiment in square. They are not going to stick around for very long. Now, maybe I might make my pikemen out because for some reason I pushed them up way too close. keep on attacking them. I can deal with the damage to pikemen. But really, I want to start recruiting infantry in Paris. That's what I need. Just keep the damage going. Get the guns to stop firing. That's an elite infantry regiment. Annihilated. go. Get my 
my general to preemptively chase down the second grenadier regiment but they are definitely going to escape they've spread out a long way the 18th however they're a bit more screwed yes that's the word we want to see awesome 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 one french army obliterated back you go you devils they stop just, just short. Ooh, I'm pulled back. So there's a case to be made to sail troops around in emergency reinforcement of Paris, I think. Such as the army in Gibraltar. They may only be militia, but militia are enough. Militia are enough to hold the city. It depends how well my replenishment goes this turn, really. But we should be in line for a serious chunk of change. Something north of 10,000 is what I'm expecting. Something north of 10,000. Oh, bye bye, Barbary States. Off you go. They're going to sink. Oh, no. They... Ordinarily, they kamikaze into port and then just get destroyed. Oh, they did. Bye bye. Unsurprising, it's a giant Austrian navy right there. You can raid, you can raid as much as you like. Good. Uh, we've had some replenishment done. Keep replenishing. I'm going to recruit one turn of line infantry, because we've got you on the way. With a, with a militia component. Um. Okay, but we did get that north of 10,000 figure. So, right. I'm going to want to be careful. Well, not careful, but invest it wisely so we're not going to attack panama yet you men are going to replenish potentially get a general sebastio figui figuedre sebastio sebo that's who he is okay so upgrading that mine would be a good investment plus Upgrading the governor's residence to a government council because that gives us plus three percent bonus to region tax income, plus nine percent. It's quite significant. So we've got another fifteen hundred, which will probably be spent on cannon foundry. Not necessarily. To be honest, well, no, there's no point sinking extra funds into infantry. Because that's not going to help us this turn. We're front-loading our capital. Oh, I'll just upgrade you to cobbled roads. So in terms of research and technology, one more turn till we get naval shore facilities. Then we can upgrade our naval board. But apart from that, things are looking pretty good. I'm quite happy. Corporate and gold braid. Good. So my commander here's done an exceptional job. Sousa. Could try and assassinate their general... But I will make everyone like me. And liking me is important. So I'm just going to stand in the way. <laughs> Which is a tactic, kind of. It will make it will slow them down. Yeah, a small force here. Small force to the south. These guys may regroup and reinforce. So that's why I want to keep upgrading or replenishing these armies here. And recruit fresh troops. So I can just combine units and reinforce. Because, yeah, we've got a serious effort to be made here to take what we've got <laughs> and exploit it 12,000 is what we're on Mughal Empire's trade is being blockaded probably still not going to want to be trade partners with nope it's probably not going to get trade partners with some of these other countries Ooh, excellent so 12 grand become 13,700, so roughly about a thousand increase. Raid as much as you like, France. Raid as much as you like. Ooh, you want in you want to. Hmm. Do I want to intercept? So I do want to fight them, but what I want to see is if I get my troops next turn. Although we are in quite good shape, so I think we should fight regardless. If I repulse them. I will be getting those troops next turn anyway, so whatever damage we get done, we can weather it uh, more resiliently now 
than we could have last turn, for example. Then we're going to recruit another four infantry after that, then another four after that. Because we don't just want to keep our garrison robust. Yeah, I'm going to do this. Wait a minute. They flattened my hill. What? But this was the town. The hill was here. Oh, did we just dig it all out and go, nah, that's terrible. Although I like this raised ground here. I might deploy both my gun teams together. It does make them uh, cavalry magnets. So group a section of line on the right flank. Some infantry on the left flank. Maybe pivoted back ever so slightly. Just to prevent them, just to make sure they've got a reasonable field of fire in front of them. Reasonable component here of a reserve unit. My cavalry is stronger than it was. I'm fairly sure none of these are regulars because they play stakes, but I'm going to find out. My pike's going to guard my guns. None of you can play stakes. Okay, what I'm actually tempted to do now. take my guns over here. Oh, I didn't redeploy my general either. That could have gone horribly wrong. I want to maintain... Well, this is all about maintaining that uh, clear field of fire. Do you have any cavalry skirmishing, but I'm not overly worried. It's probably split my cavalry up a bit more. Let's get my line infantry to move over to the other flank. General move up, and then let's speed up time. Yep, they're a danger because they're engaging my guns and based on where they are, if they get a bouncing shot, they could potentially kill the entire team. Let's run my pikemen under the operating assumption that they may be going for my pikemen. Which they are. Enemy artillery loves pikes. In which case, then stand back here. My light infantry run. My light infantry run because we're going to be engaging on the right flank faster than we may have planned who have I left behind a unit of militia very well you men will hold the left flank firm so I'm not going to worry I'm not worried about chasing these ones these guys down Back you devils! You're your post with pure Catholic bullets. Yeah, one of my light infantry in position start picking at the pikemen. I'd like these guys to break sooner rather than later. So I can my guys can reload. You men should will be able to engage the pikemen. Gunner's going to be able to pound this regiment in front of you. It looks pretty swish, but your moustaches won't save you now. Okay, they, they're going to retreat, so my light infantry are going to be free to engage the enemy pike block that's advancing on the flank. Come on, this unit hasn't engaged. Gunners are engaging, so switch cans to shot, engage the regiment étranger, they're heading right for you. You head shoot at the general's bodyguard. The pikemen are going to be repulsed from with heavy losses. X. 
Excellent. Skirmishes, some of them still have... I can still pick off the odd pikemen. If you're going to go for the 27th... The 16th are gone. Oh, smashed cannibal right through their lines. Shoots around, shot and engage the line infantry regiment. 10th Flanders regiment. It's rather fetching drum you've got. Where's your officer? Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Probably. So we do have troops coming through the town. Royal Sudwa. These men look pretty swish. Suedwa. I imagine, I imagine it's probably pronounced. Not that I was ever any good at French. Canister shot the 27th because they're now within range. Obliterate them! Destroy them! No one can put more men into the field and do more damage than the Empire of Portugal! You've only got basic rubbish bayonets too. Well, not basic bayonets. They've got the first. They've got ring bayonets. Although, to be honest, I'm not entirely sure what that is. Are they going to fire one volley? But then, oh no! They're stuck! Even Royal Bav Bavier also look pretty swish. My canister shot likes you just as much as them. And if you advance too close, my infantry is going to have a go. You're a brave man, General. This foot unit is going to try and advance against my light infantry. Be chased off. The infantry push in the sensors failed. You men come back. Let's try not to bend my line too much, because I do have the advantage of firepower. Let's use it. There you go. You're taking volleys now from my regulars. Oh, there goes your standard bearer. The officer doesn't give a damn. So they're going to fire a regular volley. Interesting. Well, either way, the damage is being done. It looks like they're folded. The, tr the troops that were pushing through the town and attempting to be a bit more covert join the actual battlefield, so my left flank can advance up a little bit to bring more muskets to bear. Gunners, don't screw around. Go for the seventh light horse. Everyone else will be taken care of. That's made them want to attack me. Yeah, they're going after my gunners after we realised, hey, they're shooting at us. They're going to do it too. Wait a minute. No, they're not. It's a decoy! Oh, they're both routed. Well, they routed, rather. My guys didn't have fire, fire at will on, which was a bit awkward. Okay, Regiment of Horse, let's bring you into the fight. Got light infantry holding their own just against enemy regulars. you picking up? Uh, it's the odd cavalryman that's ran through the gap. So my regiment of horse will go for the militia. Their infantry here is now within range of my regular line. Charge! Hack them down. We're also going to hit their regulars, but I'm not entirely focusing on them yet. Well, 
they're going after they're going to be definitely interested in my militia they can be as interested as they like you might all focus on the royal Bavier. let's just rip all my cavalry out to take them out let's try anyway Yeah, there they go. They're after my good old militia. So this regiment of foot stay will form a square. My cavalry push around the rear of these seventh sars. They're being faced down by my militia. How about you? Brave Portuguese cavalry hit the ground running keep on attacking them got a lot of enemy cavalry stuck in amongst our units here Can you try knock out one of their elite regiments gunners engage Are you men are going to charge on into the next line You men cease fire. Militia back up the cavalry just to provide a bit of infantry support. Slam my cavalry into the 4th Regiment of Militia. Get my general into the fight. Gonna cease fire because they're charging right through your position. This line infantry unit charge. Maybe that's enough to make their morale calculus change. around militia and my line infantry fall back regiment of horse pursue and my general goes straight for that foot artillery you men cease fire ah, go on go after their militia then it's not the best target it's not the best target it's the target we have this artillery, though, is a delightful target. As Royal Soudoir are good targets. So we could knock out this militia unit. They're a bit spread out, but not excessively so. There's one guy left. There we go, got him. They're going to escape. Tell my general focus on the 32nd Regiment. Nice. Let's help this cavalry go after the 4th regiment. It looks like we're going to do it. Got it. And we've got this unit of irregulars. Which, yeah, ooh, it's going to be close, but they're probably going to escape if I had to bet. I mean, we're not going to kill the unit, but I don't even think we're going to catch up. Oh, there they go. Damn right it was decisive. See you later, France. These are all men that are lost for your cause permanently. And they expose you to the United Provinces, which may in turn expose us to the United Provinces down the line. Thank you, Dutchman. Ah, oh, they pushed them back towards us. But yeah, so that might bring us into war against the United Provinces in future. But that's okay, that can be managed. But nevertheless, I think this is quite a good outcome for us. We managed to repulse all the French efforts to retake Paris. We're solidifying our hold on the garrison. And we are going to be able to sally and engage some of these rampaging French armies and stop them from doing too much more damage to beloved Paris. Because we will be dispatching troops to deal with them. While at the same time, I wonder if New Spain's going to sally. Because we are sieging Panama. They've got, they had two turns last I saw. The Mughals are holding their own against the Marathas. The Marathas now have... Yeah, we're going to... Defend. 
Yeah, the Marathas seem to be pushing... The Mughals seem to be pushing back the Marathas. Which goes some way... Which goes some way to explain how uh, we see them accepting our trade. Trade agreements when previously they did not. So deploy to the back. Because they've got mortars... just the right call just deploy to the back when they've got mortars especially if you're well particularly if you're vulnerable so i'd say at the minute my line is vulnerable or oh, i might these troops are vulnerable they're depleted we've got a, a good core of irregulars but we've still got a significant militia component not got all the tools we'd like to bring to bear but I still think it's pretty darn good especially against what we're facing so we are going to speed up time hey they're firing that's not good yeah when they attack you you haven't really got much choice and they know it door map my skirmish cavalry are going to do a lot of good damage my pikemen are going to stay within range to act as torpe uh, torpedo magnets uh, to act as how oh, it's a magnet okay my regular line door map oh don't those are bowmen, so charge into them mercilessly. That colonial light infantry. Just keep running through because they don't want to get bogged down against with melee troops. And we could don't mind hit smashing into those native bowmen auxiliary, but you guys keep on running if that draws the enemy infantry to chase after us that's in our advantage that's our advantage because they aren't pushing against my main line so you men go for the demi cannons you men try charge one unit of native warrior auxiliary try not to charge too many of them at once so this militia unit is going to fight a native warrior one native warrior auxiliary unit try and maintain my advantage in firepower I wanted you guys to get more around the enemy. Okay, bad call. Pull them out. Bad call. Pull them out. Two units against native or auxiliary should be enough. Keep the cavalry running. Make sure these native troops fire at will off yeah they just, yeah chasing chasing those skirmish cavalry and was a bit of a bad bet let's bring my light cavalry back to smack some of these infantry units we're engaging no actually best to go get the infantry there we go now we're it's, it's close, but two militia units can combat one native warrior unit, and that balance should get better. Uh, attack the mortar crew. Got one native warrior auxiliary unit running around blank. No, you got to fight them. So the infantry, not cavalry, 
get into line. This unit retreat. You charge back into this combat here. No, don't be grouped together. Okay, they're shattered. Keep the cavalry cohesive. Bring my general over here just to make sure this battle goes our way. Should do. Light cavalry out of the way. Set my line up. Potentially a good time to use the wall as cover. You mana reloading. Then withdraw. Hit them in the flank with my light cavalry, then get ready to pull them away. You men can spin around and engage them. That will cause them to break in short order. Break, damn you, I said, break. Bring the native troops back across my front. Our line infantry is all engaging the 2nd Regiment. There we go, we're fighting them in front of our troops. Clone your light cavalry, go for the general's bodyguard. My general can take out the first. It's my general's first action. How about you? Against a depleted regiment of colonial line infantry. Phew, for a minute I thought that was my guy. Engage the native warrior auxiliary. That looks like it's everyone else about to rout. Yeah, that is everyone. Sweet. Yep, yeah, bit dodgy. We managed to maneuver our way out of that one. So this army needs to re replenish in Panama. Regroup its strength before they do too much more. To be honest, they're probably just going to stay sieging the territory rather than actually attacking it. We may try and demand their surrender, but I suspect they will tell us where to go and it will not be pleasant. Thirteen thousand, that's pretty sweet. So you men go through another round of replenishment. You men may actually get your own general, Den Denis Vieria. So you will go for three more units of line, a gun team, maybe two more units of line, a gun team and a regiment of horse. It's expensive, but it's worth doing. You've got to go chase down this army, plus an army to the south, plus get ready to threaten Strasbourg and so on. You men can hold doing what you're doing. Just replenish. We're not worried about going too offensive yet. 7,000. Let's get a prosperous Weaver's Cottage upgrade. Let's upgrade Cadiz. No, let's not do that because we need to go over to the Americas. Replenish this force here. We don't even don't have any money to even upgrade a farm. But still... It's a good outcome. You light infantry might try. Uh, let's get you into Gibraltar. Hey, 
Okie dokie. Two raids. So we research naval shore facilities. So don't go for wedge. Instead, go for grenades, I suppose. Two turns. Nice and quick. It's a good bonus. Plus one to command when leading artillery units. Plus one to command when besieging. Got a mines and a farm upgraded in Bogota. So five turns. Rio de la Hacha. That's the Medellin. Medellin. Santiago de Cali. God. Okay, it's this other port. Okay, that's not bad. Let's hit enter. Oh, go away, Bren. Boo. Just give me some time, Brennan. Just give me some time. Time to strengthen my defences. Ideally, I'll take Brussels. But I'm content to let the Dutch spar for it. Right now, we are going to be doing pretty good. Let's make sure just make sure we do the best with the money we get because it probably won't be long till we suffer some crippling uh inconvenience and <laughs> start to get screwed over i do need to build a naval college okay we're going to auto resolve despite the balance of power <laughs> um, i am going to want to build a naval college to start to access new, uh, higher level naval technologies to upgrade better ships or more ships rather i should say Barbary states are going to Barbary. I'm glad the Turin took their port back. The Savoy took took their city back, I should say. 12,000. Good. So you are a suitable detachment to go and pursue these scallywags. You men keep replenishing. Let's recruit two units of grenadiers. We've got a good amount of cash here, so let's quickly hop over to the Americas, repair the magistrate, make sure the army is replenishing. The best thing to do is to try and potentially upgrade the barracks for a cool 1,000 to get access to just pretty standard but good infantry in three turns, that is. Coffee and sugar. Coffee, sugar's the more valuable. Yeah, let's get some get some more sugar. Although we've got we've already got sugar. But let's start to pump out some good upgrades. They will be able to export out of Bogota in due course. Once we've got a second port upgraded. 2100. Take advance measuring tools, which is just a, a really good upgrade. Ooh, we'll upgrade this average iron mine. That's quite a good get. You may have recruited two grenadiers. That's all you're going to get. That's fine. 300. See? Can't replenish you. Can we replenish anything here? That your regiment of horse. Oh, nuts. I meant to build my naval college. Or naval board, I should say. Still, it's two pretty good upgrades. Can we get any more trade? Why, yes. Hello, Savoy. You demand an alliance. Very well. We are a magnanimous people. Excellent. So, Turin, that safeguards my Italian flank. From outsiders. Let's go have a look at what's a deal in... Well, let's infiltrate Flanders. New men. Go over to Amsterdam. See what's going on. Swiss infantry. Just is the general in command. Yeah, so our tax income from Paris is dropping because we've got a lot of air. A lot of these towns have been raided. But they will come back in due course. Go away, bro. Oh, I should just... Uh, <laughs> scallywags. 
Okay, I'm going to build up a more robust garrison at Madrid. I think that would be wise, considering Britain's kind of going, will I, won't I, will I, won't I. Okay, naval board. Madrid garrison. Because at least with Madrid, well, with advanced roads, a, a garrison at Madrid can cover... Lisbon at the same time. Like they've got enough um, movement range to cover both both cities from one. So if they land outside Lisbon, I can run troops over to garrison Lisbon instead of Madrid within a turn, which is fine as long as we keep the ports garrisoned and prevent their the rapid landing and advancement of British troops inland. But don't tell me you're going to start doing this. Ottomans? Not now. Not when we're this early in the campaign. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm going to do it. I'm going to chop the recording. See you guys in a second. And we're back. And yeah, I think they're just right now just trying to manoeuvre you know, lots of small armies around their empire. And it just takes a bit of time. But yeah, it's easy to... F I can definitely understand when you guys feel like the game's just chugging and the ultimate your campaign crash and you'll say does very very rarely does my game does empire actually crash for me uh it will slow down sometimes it slows down and the end turn phase will take 15 minutes which yeah it's ridiculous but you know i got my phone on me so i just browse the internet and see what's going on and then i get caught out <laughs> what am I? oh god the recording started again uh, where were we <laughs> The Barbary States, they managed to repel a Venetian interception. Well, doesn't matter to me. At least with the Turin, we've got oh, we should we should be able to trade over land. We got grenades, which I didn't upgrade. Let's get an admiral board. Let's get one turn's worth of infantry here. You men pursue an attack. Oh, they are very depleted there. Let's auto that. How about you? I think if I take select everyone except the artillery, yep, they're able to attack. It's usually the artillery that slows you down. Bit risky because that called in my garrison here. And we did take some attrition for that. But the point is, we do actually get a good amount of. Well, we get a huge amount of income out of Paris. We've just got to hold it, I suppose. Okay, we want. It's a lot of regular infantry, so we probably want to. I mean, I've sent cavalry out to secure rest. Uh, do, 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 do. I don't want to do any repairing, not while I have armies like this down to the south. These guys just regroup. Maybe take another unit of cavalry. Two thousand seven hundred. I think I may invest that in a fourth rate. Bring some more ships to bear. I'm not quite well. Send my sixth rate. Ooh. Send a sixth raid north to scout. Where's that British fleet that threatens us? Phew, Bristol's unprotected, so let's raid Bristol. Let's raid Waterford. Let's raid Liverpool. Let's raid Glasgow. We're busy. I think if I raid... Technically, if I raid... Waterford, although actually it looks like you've got metal roads in Dublin. You do. We may lose this sixth. Let's just sail them out into the middle of nowhere. Head west. To no try and get into the deep sea, then they can head south. But yeah, they might have been in... Well, they're not in Portsmouth. Did a good amount of damage, though, to the British. 
Okay, this army. Replenish. Oh, the Dutch ho hold Antigua. Interesting. In which case, then, New Spain. I wanted to see if we could make peace, because I'm like, right now I've got no point. There's no further impetus for me to attack New Spain, but if they want me to attack Mexico and secure it, I will. Okay, everything, though, seems pretty good. So you men are replenishing. In terms of tech, well, next turn I need to research, I need to upgrade Devora to a classical university. That's something that needs to happen. Ah, they were in... They were here. Right, Dover. I see sneaky, sneaky Royal Navy. Are you going to do the same thing, Ottomans? Or are you going to figure it out? Because you see, you can already see those two stacks there by the coast. That's what they're doing, is they're moving one unit at a time in various places. Eventually, we will have to fight off an Ottoman army from our shores. It's going to happen. It's just going to happen. I mean, Austria is doing pretty good in Europe. I'm kind of hoping I can hold off of doing too much stuff in Europe, but then again... We don't really have that... We don't have a huge amount of enemies in the Americas either. Hey, that was a lot quicker. So here comes the Russian Navy. They're redeploying to the official where I actually think they have no ports because Crimea is their own independent state. Mughals are going to Moogle. It looks like the Marathas actually did take Bengal. Genoa is consolidating. Georgia is shifting. I wonder if it's Georgia the role the Russian navy is after. I mean, yeah, I'm still Strasbourg's ripe for the taking, and we will take it. I just want to do it in a way that is measured. So the army that's currently northwest of Paris. These men. Regroup. Head south. Gonna upgrade the roads here. Paris. Well, this army here, actually, I can probably stand to just consume some infantry, like so, to get an additional artillery unit plus a grenadier unit to kind of. Even then, that's a lot. Still, a lot of infantry in one army. But then again, that's all we had. This militia unit. I suppose actually I could have sent a militia unit out to here, but we're going to kick them out of Brest. Then we're going to take this unit of militia, get them over to Brest. Good navy, but we're not that interested in it. New port emerges. Hey! Kraken, so let's. Actually, we've already got a sloop. Well, we've got spare sloops. It's going to naturally be a trade port. Trinidad and Tobago. You, you're currently exporting everything you produce. So let's upgrade your sugar plantation. Obviously we don't hold any more. <laughs> we don't hold any more commodity producing regions than that. Upgrade the gem pit to a deep gem shaft. Probably want to get a government council for the tax bonus boost. The opera house will just up, will eventually become just a grand opera house. New town emerges. Oh, right. See, this is the problem. I spend my money because I'm crazy. We do want the barracks, but I didn't upgrade the university, but I can upgrade you to a coaching inn. Although, you're actually pretty solid when it comes to reform. When's your next town? 37 turns. Uh, you could be upgraded to a craft workshop. You could be upgraded to 
iron workshop. But actually, what I might do is just spend it on bolstering my defences against this navy here, which is really weak. Really weak. So my sixth rate. Actually, now they've done a good amount of raiding. Everything looks like it's still broken. Let's bring them back. Go to Porto. Fundamentally, the sixth was always a bit low for this army. Navy, rather. 522. Not a lot we can do except just finally commit to some repairs here in France. But yeah, you're going to head south. Secure or destroy this army, then advance on Strasbourg. Then this army will eventually divide into two armies, and one will attack Brussels, and one will maintain a hold on Paris. 10,702 projected income. If I can catch that navy out in the open ocean, I will do it. Although, there is a tactic. I could land, I could land an, a cavalry unit in Brussels run to Portsmouth, push them, well, make my big navy blockade Portsmouth, send another navy to deploy troops to Bristol to evict the navy out of Portsmouth to sea, which I then intercept and destroy. It's, it is a positively devilish scheme. And I think it's probably the best way to kick off the next turn probably going to be what I do because that will be we'll be able to destroy a full British army without actually having to fight them in the open field which seems like quite a good win for us then effectively the our main enemy now at the minute becomes Britain we've got in incremental incremental gains can be made against France in continental Europe but our major power that we can fight is Britain. And that will bring us into war against the 13 colonies. Or I could declare war on the 13 colonies and call in Britain, but none of her allies. Which might be good, actually, because Britain's probably allied to the likes of Austria and a bunch of other countries. That's probably the smart way to do it. The first thing I'm going to do is upgrade my university in Lisbon. Good old Genoa, they're helping keep the seas free. Our barracks in New Andalusia has been, will have been completed this turn too, which is pretty awesome. Go on, Barbary States, now what are you going to do? Your entire existence in this game is just a screw with people. Hey, they survived their initial combat. I'm curious how much my income actually changes from not having my large fleet raiding. Ooh, see the Barbary States, they are interfering in my trade. Looks like we aren't trading. Oh no, we're trading with the Italian states of Savoy. Uh, okay. First of all, upgrade you to classic university. Ooh, line infantry and skirmishers. No, 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 no. Don't want to lose you. Let's take this weak militia unit, get them aboard a sloop in Cadiz. Then if I whoop, sail you up to Bristol... If I move you men off of your raiding post, you only lose a hundred. That's not bad. My fleet. <laughs> My fleet can blockade Portsmouth. See, they have Mr. Worthington nearby with an Irish army. But I'm afraid. Okay, do this carefully so I make sure I don't screw it up. Go get him! <laughs> oh, actually, I'm not gonna, there's no point kicking this off next episode, because look at it. Oof, we lost three ships during that engagement. 
<laughs> okay, maybe I should have done. Okay, you. Oh, actually, now you're now you're at risk. Flee, flee for your lives. Okay, let's send this fourth ray up there just to make sure they don't get too badly beaten up, and send this sixth ray to bolster their numbers too. Then let's divvy up some militia. Good, and then you, good sir. Recruit two more fourth rates. Let's bring, let's bring them home. My militia can occupy Brest. My cavalry can come back to Paris. You men are going to head to here. They're going to head to the west of that French army and attack them. So when they route, they'll route to this corner here. If I attack them, they might go... Which is super annoying. Let's get some repairs on, at least as much as I can. But Paris is going to start pumping out some serious amounts of cash. I, mean, I know these guys are still here, but I'm not worried about defeating him for now. And then this sloop. Attack Waterford. Attack Liverpool. Attack Glasgow. Lots of provincial cat, lots of yeomanry rather, and lots of uh, Irish volunteers. You've got some Highlanders. Eh, we're we're going to keep taking you. Oh, my main concern is that France comes after us. This poor little navy. Okay, got about 100 odd quid. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Portugal. Cheers, everyone.